Number one, what is your name, please? My name is Tony LaRusso. Number two. My name is Tony LaRusso. And number three. My name is Tony LaRusso. Only one of these people is the real Tony LaRusso and has sworn to tell the truth. Old, the star of Atlanta's Ragamuffins of Rhythm, How Nipsey Russell. <laughs> the never to be forgotten Anita of West Side Story, Rita Moreno. Back home in the Big Apple, star of Eight is Enough, New York's own Dick Van Patten. And star of stage, film, and opera, Kitty Carlisle. That's our panel. And here's the host of the Thank you, and welcome to To Tell the Truth. And panel, are you familiar with how the game is played? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sort of. Shall we get right down to the first uh -huh. problem presented by our first team of challengers? Fine, you may tear open your little envelopes and follow along as I read. I, Tony La Russa, am manager of the Chicago White Sox. I am the youngest manager in the major leagues. I moved up in organized baseball through the usual channels as a player, then coach, then manager of a White Sox farm team. When I was called up, I became the team's fourth manager in three years. In such a business, it's a good thing that I have another profession to fall back on. I happen to be the only manager in the majors with a degree in law. Signed, Tony La Russa. All right, panel, these three gentlemen all claim to be uh, White Sox manager Tony La Russa. Let's start the questioning at our very own sports desk, Kitty Carlisle. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, well, number three, uh, how did you happen to get a law degree and be a baseball player at the same time? You have well, more energy than most people, I take it. Well, I do. I took an extra year to do it, and the uh, school was very cooperative. And where did you go to law school? University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Ah. And uh, number two, uh, as a manager of a team, what are your actual... Do you have to discipline the players? Only when they do something wrong. And how do you discipline them? You don't spank them, I take it. Well, you can talk to them. You can take their money. You take their money away? Sometimes. Uh, number one, can you find them? I can, but the uh, general manager, the president of the ball club can and how, who's the president manager and the president of the ball club? Bill Beck is our president, owner, general manager. And where do you play? And we go to Nipsey Russell. Uh, number one, uh, how, how many night games do you play? play about 60 night games. How many do you play in Chicago, night games? Uh, in Chicago, we play about 38 this year. Okay, n uh, number two, uh, what player in, from Chicago is called, known as Mr. Cub? Mr. Cub, that would be uh, Ernie Banks, I think. Uh, okay, number uh, three, uh, what uh, player now has a son who's uh, playing on a, a team that he might oppose in the upcoming World Series? No, more Wills. Yes. Uh, number uh, two, uh, did Bill Beck have a, a war record? Yes, he did. He, uh, he was very distinguished. Well, number one, there was a trick uh, in baseball where somebody had a midget to come up as a batter, and uh, what, what's the name of that man? Eddie Gay Dell is the name of the, uh, of the player, and Bill Vett. And we go to Rita. Number three, who's Van Lingo Mongo? Van Lingo Mongo, I believe that he plays for Minnesota. <laughs> right. Uh, number one, who's Van Lingo Mongo? Van Lingo Mongo played for the St. Louis uh, Cardinals in the 50s. Okay, number two, can you tell me, please, who originated baseball? Abner Doubleday. Uh-huh. Number three, uh, what kind of uh, law do you specialize in? A corporate and labor law. Uh-huh. I have run out of questions. That's as much as I know about baseball. <laughs> Thank you very much. The buzzer came just in time, Rita. And we go to Dick Van Patten. Oh, yes. Uh, number one, what is the scandal associated with the White Sox? The White Sox scandal took place around 1919. It was called, also called the Black Sox scandal at the time, and it was over uh, paying off umpires in the World Series. Thank you. Number two, uh, who was Shoeless Joe Jackson? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> he was a member of that 1919 White Black Sox. Mm -hmm. Number three, uh, number, number three, who is your best hitter on the White Sox? The best hitter on the White Sox? Uh, I'd say right now it's Cruz. Uh-huh. Uh, 
The little bell says time is up, panel, and it's going to be real tough because these guys know what they're talking about. It's now time to vote for number one, number two, or number three. Whoever, in your opinion, is the real Tony La Russa. We pay $100 for each incorrect vote, and if our team of challengers completely schneiders you, they will win 500 bucks. Are the ballots all marked? Yeah. And Kitty, who'd you vote for? Well, I voted for number one. He's the only one with a suntan. And even <laughs> though he's a manager, he's got to be out there sometime looking at the team. So I voted for number one. Okay. Your reasons are wonderful, Kitty. They really are. It's a marvelous reason. Nipsey, who'd you vote for? I voted for number one, although I didn't, I didn't know that they played night games in, in, the, in uh, the White Sox Park. I didn't think it was lighted for night games, but he gave me such a vast amount of information, I thought maybe he misunderstood my question. Okay, and Rita? Well, uh, there's only one person on that panel that to me looks like a Tony La Russa. That's just an instinctive uh, guess, but also Van Lingo Mongo and, of course, Double Day kind of convinced me that it's number one. Okay, and finally, Dick. Oh, shucks. I didn't <laughs> vote for number one. Uh, he got all the answers right and everything, but I just sort of thought that number three looked like he might also be practicing law at the same time while he was being a manager. I think you're right. Okay, <laughs> the votes are all in. Now we're going to find out who is really the youngest manager in the major leagues. Will the real Tony La Russa please stand up? We're skunked. We're skunked. <laughs> You're skunked. Let's <laughs> yeah. 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 find out who our imposters are. Panel number one, you pulled it off. You got three votes. Would you tell us, please, who you are and what you really do? My name is Steve Forrest, and I'm Senior Creative Supervisor for Kornhauser and Colleen Advertising here in New York. <laughs> And number three, you aided and abetted in this general skunking. Would you tell us, please, who you are and what you really do? My name's Pete Moeller, and I do survey research at the National Opinion Research Center here in New York. <laughs> and these, 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 are, these are rat finks that produce this show. They put this guy in a business suit, and they put the other two in baseball <laughs> uniform. <Yeah. laughs> Tony, uh, apart from contracts and that sort of thing, how does your uh, uh, law degree help your, your particular job as manager? I mean, when the umpire says you're out, can you appeal, that sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, then they hold, you, they hold you for contempt. No, <laughs> <laughs> no really, it, it has uh, very little to do with baseball. It just gives you that nice cushion to fall back on because this job's not very secure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sweep it was. You, uh, there were four incorrect votes, giving you our jackpot of $500. Tony, I wish you great success with the Sox and your law future. Gentlemen, you were terrific. Thanks for joining us on To Tell the Truth. And come back to join us on One on One very shortly. Thanks a lot. We'll be back right after these messages with more.